Hey, I'm Juan. Thank you for joining me. I got exciting news. So I've been testing out my script. I've been trying to come up with a day trading plan. So it's one thing to have a script, but I also want to have kind of like a plan where I stick to these plan. I know it's successful. I tested it out and I have a great scalping plan. I don't have a good swing trading plan for this strategy yet. I've tested a few things, but when it gets to the one hour, two hour, four hour, I don't have a really great entry and exit strategy yet but I have come up with a great scalping plan. So I've come up with a mnemonic. I call it IT15. So IT15, this is my entry plan. What IT15 is first is identify. So let's go to the board here. So I have my screener here and the way I set up my trade view, I have three tabs. I'll show you here. See three tabs on the top and the first tab is the screener. Once I identify the stock that I want to use, I go to T, which is trend. So what is the overall market? How is it trending? If the stock is trending with the market up, I'm going to jump in on a one minute time frame and have confirmation with the five minutes. So I'll explain that in a second. So let's say it's the morning and I'm looking at my chart here and I get a yellow buy signal. What yellow buy signal is here, like this yellow one here for NEO, is that means three of my indicators have lined up. I'm looking to enter on the fourth, but it, I like I set it up so that I can get a pre-warning so I can get in on time and I can go through the trend. I can set some support and resistance before I get into the fourth one. So let's just say we're talking about Tesla. And let's say here on this candle at 836, I get a yellow to enter. So I look here, I go to my overall market. I say, okay, what is the overall market doing at 836? 836 here, I say, okay, it's above the nine and the 20. It's not above the VWAP yet. The QQQ is above the VWAP, SPY is above its moving averages and futures are starting to move up a little bit. So it's not a confirmed upward trend, but it's not a downward trend and it's kind of consolidating and that's so i would be 50 50. so what i would do is now pay attention to my one minute here and wait for entry i would go in probably on this one what i'm looking for is if i have confirmation of an upward trend what i'm basically saying is i'm going to go in full amount whatever your full amount is if that's a thousand shares if that's two calls if that's three calls whatever is considered full amount for you or full position. This right here would be partial position. So if I'm usually buying five calls, I may buy three calls or two calls on this one. So I'll buy two calls here. When I get the fourth signal, it goes off here at $666. That would be the criteria for entering. Now let's say it was on a clear uptrend like this. It's above the moving averages. It's above the VWAP. It's above the moving averages, above the VWAP. Then the only difference is I would go in full position. Now I'll buy five calls, 10 calls, or a thousand shares, whatever your full call position is or full, sh full position is. So that's the only difference, but it's IT15. I identify the stock first. I look at the trend. I look at the one minute and I enter on the one minute for the exit strategy. So it'll be two pathways. It'll be either be one F exit or the R5 exit. So one F exit is the one minute first signal exit. So the reason for that is if you're in a consolidating market, if you jumped in a one minute trend like this one here, and it's on an uptrend on your one minute, but on the five minute, you don't get a call position. You don't get a long entry position or the overall market is down. Then you would stick to the one F. The one F is you stick to the one minute, the one for the one minute and first signal. So right here, this red dot is the first signal to exit. So you got in here on the one minute, 666, and you exited at 672. Now R5, I call that resistance five minute. Now let's say you entered here at the one minute, okay, 666. Now you're paying attention to the five minute and you entered here at 838. Now here at 845, seven minutes later, you got an entry position for the five minute. So now on my exit strategy is R5, resistance five minute candle. 
So either I'm going to start selling into resistance and you have to kind of set your own trend line. So for me, for example, I go to the daily, I have a video on how to set support or resistance. So check that video out. I'll leave it at the link at the end. Um, but I set my support or resistance. So here I got resistance here at 684. So I'm going to take some position at 684, 684, which is right here at this green line. It went past 684 all the way to 685.63 or the first five minute signal, which is here on this candle. You see this red dot here, and that would be 675. So in this case, it hit resistance here. Now, what you're looking for, if it hits your resistance, if it doesn't break, if the next candle doesn't start above the resistance, then this is an exit here. So I would take a partial here at 682. And, and then at that point, you can either hold if you already taken some profit. For me, if the five minute confirms, I'm probably going to increase my position or take a full position. And I'm going to sell a partial wherever I can at resistance levels. That way I can hold the rest. Now let's look at another one here. Okay, on the one minute here, we got a signal to enter at 858 at $674. So here at 858, this candle here, there's no signal to buy. You're waiting and then it turns red here. So this would be a one minute kind of thing here. You wouldn't hold on. And the first signal I got to sell is at 683. So I got in here at 674 and sold at 683, which is profit all day. So let's try another stock. A stock I like to trade is NVIDIA. Okay, so NVIDIA, let's say here at 822, you got a signal, to the, you got a yellow signal. So three of the four have come out. You haven't gotten this five yet. Let's say it's early, it's 822. So then 822, we look at the market. So I would say, okay, looking at the QQQ, it's, a, it's above, it's moving averages here. It kind of spiked up. Now it's forming a bull flag, but it's above the VWAP. And same for the SPY, it's spiked up, forming a bull flag, kind of consolidating above the VWAP. So I, I would say it's looking promising. So then I'll go to my next tab. So here then, so then we set it up here. And at 827, we get a signal to buy. So one, 16075 is our entry. So now we look at the five minute. It is following overall trend. So a few minutes into the trade here, 16114, we would kind of look and we see that the market's kind of consolidating. And then finally, there's an uptrend. And the reason we, there was no buy signal because the buy signal started yesterday here at 158. So everything is lined up. So I would feel comfortable holding it until resistance. And you'll have to kind of like establish your resistance points from the past. I would, I would make this into the daily chart and check the daily, weekly, monthly and find the resistance or hold it to the first five minute sell signal. So here we got one at 862.25. So you would have entered at 160 and you would have exited at 162.30 unless you identified some resistance somewhere here, uh, then you would have taken some partial there. So that's it, that's the strategy. I've tested it several times already with the small account and so far all my trades have been profitable and either tomorrow or Friday, I'm going to test it now with real position, real size, uh, not just a small $500 account, account that's above the PDT rule. And I'm hoping to see similar results. I mean, if it works on a small account, then it should work on a large account, just taking bigger positions. And I'll keep you guys updated with uh, my strategy. Uh, it's, it's not on trade view for the public. I'm just using it myself. I have one other person that's using it also for testing purposes, but I do also have it on Thinkorswim, which I'm also testing and I'll show that right now. So here on Thinkorswim, I set it up a little bit differently. So first, the good thing is here, my watch list here, I have the watch list set of stocks that I watch and they tell me the signals, the same thing. But I can also scan the whole market to find three yellow buys, three greens, similar to this. You know, you click here. So let's say I have this all color coded. So I'll show you same, same thing, what each color means here. Here, right, where gray, gray means two of my signals, 
two of my criteria has hit. Yellow means there's three criteria. So here, it's not an entry because it's yellow. It's just like getting a yellow signal on my scanner. Yellow signal, yellow signal. So it would be yellow by here. So I would be keeping an eye on it here. And then this first green candle is the entry. And you can see it's lined up with the other criteria than the QQE mode, the double RSI, on the chandelier exit. On this green candle, this is my entry here at 103.37. And it's the same rules. You can exit on the first red or yellow. So here, but the first red here is up here, 104.36 would be the exit. So you would enter here on the first green candle while after it consolidated. And the first red signal or, or gray, I would exit here. So, you know, you would spike up here, 104, pull back. And here is your first exit, your 104.55. And same rules. I'm still testing it on TD uh, Meritrade. Uh, so far, it's looking good. There are a few things I want to adjust with some of the numbers and the settings. But it is looking good so far. So I do have it on Thinkorswim and I have it on TradeView and I'm, I'm excited to start using it on real trading. So thank you for watching. Uh, see you live in the next few days using my strategy. Hope to see you there.